This is Jason of Nerd Locker interviewing Mark Wade. Hi, Mark. How are you doing today? Good. It's a really good convention here at Motor City. It has been a great convention. Um, first of all, I'd like to ask you about what my, one of my favorite storylines, which is Kingdom Come. How, what was it like to work on that? Oh, it was terrific. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong working with Alex Ross. And I, I had no idea that at the time we were creating something that people would still be coming up to me 18 years later and getting me to sign, but that's pretty cool. And I'm, I'm really proud of it. It's, it's, you know, Alex and I both love the DC, DC Universe characters so much, and it gave us a chance to really sort of explain to everybody else why we love them so much. Now, you've written, like, pretty much everybody. Pretty much everybody. <laughs> what are some of your favorite characters to write? Oh, Superman's top of the list, because Superman Birthright is still my favorite thing I ever wrote. Uh, but Fantastic Four, I love writing, and I love writing Daredevil now. I'm enjoying doing my Daredevil run, and I'm having a blast. He's a great character because he's kind of a, like a B-list kind of guy that a lot of people aren't super keen on. What can you do with that kind of character that maybe you can't do with some of the bigger names? Well, that's just it. Because he's sort of a, a second stringer, if you will, in terms of the, the main Marvel characters, that means he's not in Avengers, he's not in a bunch of other team books, he's not in a bunch of crossovers and stuff, so that kind of means that you can sort of go and, go and do what you feel like you need to do with him and not worry about how that reflects on other continuity. But beyond that, too... It just gives you the flexibility of, look, if you want to do something drastic to the character's life or, or change him in some drastic way, as long as there's a good story behind it, Marvel will back you. That's cool. That's cool. Now, you've done a lot of Elseworlds kinds of stories. What's kind of free about being able to do that? What gives you that kind of creative freedom? That's with an Elseworlds story where it's anything goes, a parallel world story where anything can happen. That's the ultimate freedom because you can... You know, you can have characters be different than they they were, but most of the point, like the most exciting thing is you can have a story end. Because that's the thing about superhero stories is that they have beginnings and middles, and and they are modern mythology in that sense. But they can't have an ending because then you have no story. Which is with an Elseworld story, you can get a really nice, as Frank Miller showed us with the you know, Dark Knight. You know, you get a really nice mythical end to the to the whole mythos. Well, Mr. Wade, it's been a pleasure to meet you and to interview you. Thank you and good luck on all your future work. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And that was Mr. Mark Wade, and you are listening to Nerd Locker, a place for your inner nerd.